Work, work, everyone. Sigler here. So, in last video, I was discussing uh, uh, the warrior runes for phase two in Season of Discovery. But now we're going to talk about the warlock because that is also uh, one that I'm considering to play, like the tank uh, warlock. So, we're going to check what kind of runes we are going to get on it. So let's just run, jump right into it. So we're gonna get a uh, belt, boots, bracers, and helmet. So it's a four new ones. Uh, that like it's so much. I was expecting one, maybe two, but now there's four. It's insane. Okay, so let's go. Belt, Grimoire's synergy. Recite from a dark tome, granting damage done by your your summoned demon has five percent chance to increasing the damage done by other. Granting damage done by you or su your summoned demon. Have a five percent chance to increase. Okay, so it's a it's a it's a raid buff. Wait, by you or have a five percent chance to damage the increasing the damage done by the oh okay. So if I put it on my my demon, it will give it to me. But if I put it on me, it will give it to the demon. That's cool. So next one, uh, evocation, refreshing the uh, refreshing corruption immolate, uh, curse of agony or uh, siphon life. When it has less than six seconds duration remaining, it will cause you to deal instant damage to the target equal to one period. One. Wait, so it's actually a full effect one? Sheesh, that's insane. We're, oh, damn. Warlocks are going to be very strong in this phase if we're going to get this one. Like, imagine the PvP. I mean, I mean, imagine all the... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, a weak aura is going to come out. It's going to be like... I mean, I imagine if you can keep track of it and you keep dotting everything... And then if you keep keep track of it, and it's like, okay, this one is, uh, everything is about to go off cooldown, uh, well, go uh, expired. And it's like, refresh it, and it gets a full effect. It's got to be huge damage. I really like that. Well, also in PvP. Well, PvE, I mean. So, yeah. Uh, Affliction Warlock looks, looks strong. That's nice. Um, your critical strike with fire and shadow spells uh, increases your fire and... Okay, so it's a 10%. If you crit, you get a 10% increased damage. That's cool. That's very nice if you're... Well, pretty much both. That is a very uh, good threat uh, thing with your... If you're a tank warlock with a meta, meta form. Because... Well, some people are like only spamming uh, Searing Pain. I, what I like to do is that I like the Everlasting Affliction rune and I put the corruption on everything and then I keep spamming because then, it, then you have the shadow damage as well. So, yeah, that's cool. So those are the three belt ones. I really like the last one the most, I guess, or this one if you're a DPS. <coughs> Could probably have this one in tank, but it will be interesting to see what the meta rune meta is gonna be. Really looking forward to like dig a bit deeper into it. So then we got the boots one. Uh, you and your pet, you and your uh, well demon pet gain dodge chance equal to your spell critical strike chance each time you deal critical strike chance to an enemy and both okay so this is gonna help a lot oh uh, if you if you're bringing this one you you like if you have a lot of spell crit 
you like uh, let's say that you go into a destruction build with uh, uh, as a meta like a uh, meta uh, tank you can actually like spec into a lot of crit stuff and if you have this you don't need life tap that's going to be very interesting because then you don't have to life tap as much like if you have a, a, a lot of spell crit it, it could keep you up. That's interesting. Really like that. Next one. Demonic knowledge. Increases your spell damage and healing by your value equal equal to 10% of your demon's pet's total. Okay. So if you go into demonology and you put the... I think it's on the second row. I don't know what, the, what it's called at the moment. But on the second row on like furthest to there for you um second row furthest there uh, you can increase the mana and then the first one as well plus yeah it's both of them so the first one and the second row you have the plus stamina and the plus intellect so that's interesting that's very interesting uh next one shadow shadow flame oh oh Ooh, and it can, can be consumed by a comp flag? Oh, we're gonna play destruction tank. Oh. I, I mean, I'm, I'm a bit torn between Warlock and Warrior. Mm, it's gonna be interesting. Both of them look looking very nice. Okay. I called it! Immolation Aura. I called it. I called it. I, 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 I've, been, I've been wishing this one for so long. I've been telling it from the start that I would like the Immolation Aura. Ooh, it's gonna be so nice. Shadow Flame and an Immolation Aura. Fell Guard? Woo! Unstable Affliction as well. Ooh. Ooh. Warlocks are gonna be so dirty. Ooh. Ooh. I actually think I've made up my mind what I'm gonna play. <laughs> wait, there's only two? Okay, wait, I guess we haven't seen, uh, they haven't data mined everything yet, because there's only two here. On the other ones, uh, on the warrior, it was three. I'm pretty sure of it. So, backdraft. Your conflagration ability also grants 30% spell haste. We're going to go destruction so much. Holy shit. Oh my god. It's going to be a destru Oh, it's going to be destruction. Yes. Yes. It's going to be so nice. Next one. Periodic damage from your sh uh, corruption, unstable affliction, curse mag, immolation aura, uh, curse of doom. Nice. And siphon life ability can now be critical strikes. Wait, so this paired with this thing? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, they're gonna be so good. Oh, I was I was having a good feeling about warlocks this this patch oh my god i am so happy with all of this and i hope like okay it depends on if we're gonna get all of these in phase two there they might be just some data mines for later ones so we might not get everything i'm not sure about that uh i i hmm I have to look it up but like even if if it's so we're gonna have uh, like even if we're going to only two by the looks of it we're gonna get something good at least like pretty much from anything so and we know what's coming so I'm actually think I'm gonna go warlock I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go warlock because if we're gonna get hellfire and I mean let's look at this okay uh let's open a new one let's go in here warlock 
uh, if we go into let's say here and uh, we go do, do this one I don't know if we're gonna do that though but like let's just go down imp here you see okay I don't think we're gonna need the mana mana cost reduction but then after that like th there we go the pushback from both hellfire and healing the rain of fire and wait okay yeah here we go so a, an ideal build that i would do then is this one because we don't need spell cast haste if we're gonna be a tank so let's take this one because then you can critical strikes after that we're gonna get the lake of fire most likely because then you can put out the one and you're gonna make 30 percent uh, fire damage you deal and your yeah, exactly. So it's both for us. So then it's that one, 40% after that. Uh, Immolation Aura. It's just an fire AOE damage. After that, gloves. Obviously, the tank one. Waste. Next one, uh, which is... Um, uh, most likely this one. Uh, yeah, your critical strikes. Because we're going to try to make as much critical strikes as possible. It, this one could probably a good one as well but I, I feel this is more of a a affliction or damage one because I think I would rather take this one I guess it depends on how much we're gonna crit but okay after that we're gonna take the uh, you could take this one because if you're gonna crit well okay this pet crit but okay let's take the uh this one because then it's 25 percent more fire damage and after that we're gonna take the shadow flame i get no okay no okay on on trash you can switch to shadow flame but i don't actually think you 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 have to but you could and then you have the conflict so you can consume it because it's, it's a dot as well and then you have the this one which is the one that I was talking about that it gives mana. So uh, we don't need a ranged one. So here's another critical strike ability. We're gonna max it actually, because remember if you have you and your pet, each time you deal a critical strike to an enemy, it also gives mana back. So that's gonna be nice. Uh, like this we don't need the stun could be nice though but we don't have that much to spend and we need the fire damage uh, I, I don't know about calm flag I don't, I'm not sure about calm flag um, I'm not that good at uh, warlock so I can't really tell but I mean you, you always obviously want the crit ones if you're gonna do have that approach and this one because then you can use hellfire so let's say that you're tanking something and then there's like a uh, some face in uh, a boss and then you can just start casting the hellfire to to make sure that you have the well first rain of fire just for the the lake of fire to proc and then after that you can go with the hellfire or continue with the rain of fire well, okay, yeah, most likely the Rain of Fire because Hellfire actually deals damage to you. But yeah, it, ugh, really looking forward to this. And the Rain of Fire or Hellfire is going to depend on the ranks and how good geared you are. Because if you're good geared, depending on the ranks and the damage, the Hellfire could be insane, even if you take damage though. Because if you, you can just switch out uh, the Lake of Fire and go... Uh, master handler just to get some because maybe this one the drain life one and the hellfire they like even out because you 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 are getting healed and you're taking damage so it might actually stop so yeah oh, jesus i'm boo, i'm really looking forward to warlock this might be at like a tilting point for tilting point for me 
I've been playing a lot of Warrior lately and I've been enjoying it and I've been looking forward to playing it in Phase 2. But this might actually make me go Warlock. <laughs> oh, it's going to be interesting. <laughs> Well, uh, if you haven't watched my video about uh, where I look at the uh, warrior runes, uh, click in the uh, the video over here, and I'll see you over there, or maybe in the next video. Work, work. <laughs>